Now, I'm not an origin of life researcher. But she contested with me when I say that we're clueless on the origin of life. We are nowhere near clueless on the origin of life. So I would like to ask her, what is it within the origin of life area that we have sound understanding on. The chirality problem, which is kind of an older creationist talking point, the, the chirality problem is not a legitimate problem. And it's a massive problem. So essentially, homochirality problem is right at the center for us to understand the origins of life. I think you should have done your homework a little bit better before you started making comments on origin of life. But I remember reading into the chirality problem, and I don't remember finding it compelling then. The chirality problem has been <laughs> dealt with for quite some time. Like it was recognized as one of the biggest questions in science. Uh, in fact, one of the biggest 125 questions in addition to origins of life. No, I'm serious. This is, this is in the literature. The chirality problem, now abiogenesis has problems for sure. Chirality is not one of them. And it's a massive problem. You had to have chirality at the start of biology. You know, if James Torr is the one saying it, and I hate to say this, I'm instantly more skeptical than I would be if somebody else was. And she can explain to me what parts of the origin of life she feels that we're not clueless on. I would be glad to engage with her on that because she was the one who made those comments. You can tell a lot about a person when they speak outside their area of expertise.